Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. My buddy Nick recently decided to buy himself a tackle box to help organize all of his watch supplies. He showed me some pictures of it and I had to copy him. So I picked one up myself and tonight I'm going to show you how I organize all of my watch supplies and tools. So let us begin. And here is the tackle box in question. Now, I'm not much of a fisherman, so this may be familiar to some of you out there, but I had never heard of it until Nick brought it to my attention. And I realized, man, that would be a really cool way to organize everything. So we're gonna tour this thing from the top to the bottom. Opening up the top, we have a spacious area here. And this is where I keep bracelet links baggy screwdrivers, my sapphire tester, and you can see that uh, some stuff is kind of collecting in here. These should not be in here. But I also have some other random things. We have some uh, electrical tape that I use mainly for like my calipers uh, so they don't scratch up my watches when I'm measuring them. I really need to get some plastic calipers but I haven't done that yet. A couple times I have used this also uh, just putting it on lugs so that they don't get scratched as I'm changing out straps and whatnot. Just general kind of protection tape. I've got some poly watch here and some spring bars. As well as some random tools there. Needle nose plier type stuff. That is the top area. Moving down from there we have a bunch of drawers. And the sad thing about these is all of the sections in these drawers are the same size. You can adjust how wide they are, but not how deep they are. So let's pop this open. In this top drawer, I have some pliers. I have a bracelet spring bar tool here that so far hasn't been terribly helpful. I've tried using it a few times and ended up just using a regular spring bar tool. And you can see we have some more stuff that shouldn't be here. Some, a bracelet and a strap. Those should go elsewhere. Already messiness is trying to creep in because, uh, yeah, that's how I roll. We have a coin here for removing the battery hatch from swatches. I feel like this just works much better than swatch tools, which is weird. Drawer number two. Here we have my cheap case knives for removing case backs. I really need to get a nice one at some point, but for now these work. And then I've got some other random tools here. These are kind of handy for if you have drilled lugs and whatnot. And we have some random screwdrivers that are not very good quality, but they are useful here and there. And this has come in handy here. This will remove pins from bracelets that are friction fit. I've used this a few times. And it works pretty good, considering how cheap it is. The next drawer. Here is where I have all of my buckles. And they are a complete mess. They aren't arranged by size or anything like that. At some point I may do that and actually utilize these dividers that you can put in here. So I can put different size buckles in here. I just have to uh, actually get around to doing that. And then uh, you see that I have a toothpick here, which I actually used in my video where I was regulating my friend's watch. And uh, 
I'll be using this again for sure. I actually have another watch that I'm going to try regulating, but I like this because I'm not going to scratch up the movement if it slips or anything. And the final drawer is actually empty. All I have in here are the extra dividers that I can use to set up the different sizes within the drawer. And again, the sad thing is it would be nice if you could pull these out. That way you can have a larger open space in these drawers. That's really my only complaint with this. Um, so it's really tough to fit um, larger things in some of these drawers. Like you'll notice here, these knives barely fit. I have to have them angled in here. And uh, it would be cool to be able to just pull this out and let these sit in a larger section there. And there may be other tackle boxes that do that. I haven't really explored. But this one was nice and cheap. This is the Plano Molding. I found it on Amazon for $30. So not too bad at all. I'm sure eventually I'll get something better, but for now, this definitely helped to free up some shelf space where I had all of my stuff just kind of tossed on there. And uh, yeah, as time goes on, I will probably further organize this, uh, like the buckles, for example, get those into their sections by different sizes. That way I can just quickly grab a buckle instead of shuffling through them all. Pretty cool. So there you have it, my super affordable tackle box that I use to organize all of my watch stuff. It's just a shame that the drawers don't have different size compartments front to back. Oh well, thanks for watching.